Welcome back. This is Arcade Night. And King Darren, along with his army, is very weary. They are ragged. We have been fighting our way through the Southern Vale. But finally, we've got a bit of good news from home. We're going to share that news that just arrived on a raven also. In celebration of this glorious news, we are heading to the mountaintop. We are fulfilling a lifelong dream of King Darren by sieging the Eerie on today's episode. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play a Clash of Kings, a throne for dragons. Finally, the king gets some good news. Queen Desmira is with child. And of course, uh, you know, King Darren has left a wake of bastards in his old days when he's a sellsword over in Essa. So he, he knew he could get it done. It just was a matter of time. So in celebration of that, guys, we're heading to the Eerie. But before we do that, we need to check out the situation. So first of all, we've got a few Vale Lords um, that are captured. We've got one, two, three, four, five Vale Lords. We probably defeated another five at that, but that does not mean anything. The veil was pretty large. So I just want to check out one, two, three, four, five. I mean, yeah, they have close to 20 lords, it seems. Also, we need to check out how many factions House Bright Flames at war with currently. The veil, of course. Oh, Bentos and Mir, and oh, there's all these across the sea. That want to bother us. Ah, but Three Sisters, of course, and the Free Folk have recently declared war on us. I don't know why. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we've taken over the Southern Vale. I think we've got it pretty secure. Uh, it, pretty much, we're worried about the Three Sisters. They've taken all the way to Barrington. Can, can you believe this? They've taken over the Southern North, essentially, where, where they're heading to next. We know Hornwood is a siege tower. That's kind of stop them in their tracks, but... They may head towards Square Winterfell. Who, who knows? Maybe Moat Kaelin to kind of block it off. But we're going to take the Eerie. Remember our goal of cutting uh, the Vale right in half. And by taking the Eerie, it's just going to leave a few castles left. And then we can head towards the Three Sisters. And uh, now I must say we are out of food. We're going to head to Vale Town. See if we can get lucky. And get some food here. And also, we need to check the state of our army. We don't have a, a huge army like we had before. Nothing. We have no food, guys. Let's see if we can see... Let's go to the village center. Maybe we can buy some cattle if we're lucky. Let's find the local village leader. Maybe he's he's nice enough to sell us some cattle. Reali realizing that I will be his... His future king... Well, <laughs> there you go, sir. Um, let's buy some supplies. I'm gonna buy some cattle. Let's buy five. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so here's our five cattle. That should hopefully get us through the siege. Mm, let's do four for now. Maybe a little too much. And uh, we'll have that last one follow us. My men are fed. My cupbearer has poured me a fresh new tasty beverage in my golden chalice. And after the last episode, where I threw it across the room, after Barrington fell, I had to get me a new one. But I've got a new one, and it's in good shape. Oh, the beverage is so tasty from it. Hopefully it's going to change our luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now we've got to try to get this cattle and my army up to the top of this mountain. Oh, and look at this. Of course, we're going to have a welcoming party. Uh, how could we not? Hmm. Uh, so this is almost 300. And what do we have? Not a huge army, I, I got to tell you. Uh, we got 100 there. We can add that to ours. It's 250. Another 100. Okay, so we, we've got, we got a decent army. Okay. You know, we've got a lot of reinforcements and in, in our men have healed up. So this is perfect, actually. Ready to go into this battle, probably. Before we take the Eerie. Oh, and you're familiar. We have been here before. They're both traveling to the Bloody Gate. We can grab them. Oh. 
there goes Moat Kalen. All right, Let's see if we can get at least this one. Uh huh. <laughs> Surrender or die, sir. Surrender or die. We have this massive army. Ten to one, it seems. Ten to one. Okay, cavalry. We're gonna try to charge in best we can. I think I see, I think I see decent ground, Cavalry. Decent ground here. Certainly. Certainly. They're, they're gonna move back after they see us set up. Right? <laughs> Let's set up men first. And, and then we're gonna charge, because I, I do see good ground. Here we go, men. Here we go, Cavalry. Charge. I'm gonna have them charge now. We're getting our men set up. As you can see on that hilltop, archers are already set. There goes Cavern and Wedge. Oh, look at that glorious man. Tell you what, my horse is lame by this point. So we're not going to be doing any charging into battle anytime soon. We'll let our knights take care of that. We can get over here and set our infantry up. It's just an appetizer for that battle for the Eerie. Don't worry, don't worry. Where's our infantry? Let's get them set here. Archers, this is a great spot for you. Of course we've got him. A mighty nice Kingsguard. We've got a lot, a lot of men who've joined the Kingsguard just to help protect the king. Come back, Cavalry. Come back. Right here, Flame. Maybe this would be a better horse. Ah, uh, but of course, I have to get my Kingsguard to help out. Maybe this would be a better horse. It has a little bit more speed. Perhaps. You son of a gun. Alright, let's get a cavalry here. My horse is still slow. I can't do very much with a slow horse. That's for sure. And all these fail knights are making me <laughs> very upset. Very upset indeed. You want a duel, sir? I'll give you a duel. Yeah. You want to taste some Valerian steel? That's what it tastes like. And you, sir. Oh, I just got hit hard. What was that? Heavy Veil Knight. Alright, I'm going to have the knights charge in. Take out those archers down there. And get out of the way. Bring the infantry up here, too. In fact. At least I got the King's Guard, though. King's Guard is protecting the king. Bring the archers up. Oh, my goodness. Look at this mess of archers. King's Guard. This is a perfect opportunity for you, sirs. Where's my King's Guard? Are they otherwise engaged? My King's Guard, hold here. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> when you use them properly, it's 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 a joy. It's it's a pure joy when you can use them properly. It's just like extensions of your arm that just uh, take care of little problems like that. All right. So I, I think we're getting close. Ooh, is is this horse? Oh, good enough for now. How we're doing? Ninety. We're almost done, guys. We're gonna finish off this battle. And uh, once we're done and ready to head towards the area, I'm going to cut right back. See you guys in a second! Like I said, a nice little appetizer. For our army, only three wounds. Allied casualties, five kills. Not bad. We'll take that. Rainies with a couple of kills. Get her ready to go. She's going to have to unleash that bow quite a bit. And Richard Blick with seven. Very good. And Darren with nine. You know, he's putting in his part. Billman, we're going to keep you where you are. Keep you guys where you are. Mm. Any more upgrading? Dang, on Dark Eagle. He is upgraded. Okay. We'll definitely talk to him before the siege. Alright, we're going to let him get to the bloody gate. There's really nothing we can do about it. We've got more important things to do. We need to head up to the Eerie. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna let him go. The Eerie is more important. Especially since his arm is pretty tough. If we take the Eerie, I feel a lot better about things. But, but before we go up there, let's talk to Dagon Dark Eagle. The very mysterious member of the Kingsguard. No one quite knows his past, but uh, one thing we do know, he is a beast. Strength 20, Iron Flesh 6, Power Strike 6. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What else can we do for this subscriber knight? Um, well, we could just keep giving you massive strength or agility. What if we give you agility? It doesn't give you any more weapon master at this point. Strength would give you more iron flesh, which I think you're going to need for this coming battle. And you've got that big two-handed sword, so yep. Give you more points than that. All in all, I think we're ready to go. <sighs> it's not a big garrison. That's why I want to take it. Look at it. And there's a couple of my lord's prisoner and quite a few habitiers that I can retire in King's Landing. It's the perfect time. It seems like they're consolidating to the bloody gate. That's going to be tough. We may have to leave that for last. We may do that because once we take the Eerie and we go back through and take all these northern parts of the Vale, we can just leave the bloody gate where it is. There's really not much they can do. I'm really worried about the Three Sisters, though. They still siege in Moat Kaelin, and they're going to take it. The Three Sisters has quite a big faction, actually. One of the larger factions. Let's check it out. Well, I take that back. I thought they were larger than this. It's... Kevin Lannister. I believe you're responsible for my brother's death. Way back at the beginning of this season, of course. Of course! You're leading the charge. Oh, an old enemy, uh, Davil Seaworth, of course. Way back in season one, we took uh, Dragonstone. I see. Well, we gotta concentrate on more important things, guys. Taking the Eerie. Take a quick save here. I think we're ready to do it. Call off the hunt. I don't think so. Get her army up here. <laughs> I cannot wait. Alright, so we've got... we got decent beef. We've got good swords. Got good shield. Our armor's ready to go. This is for you, Baylor. This is for you! Let's besiege the castle. Oh, and it's only ladders. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Take a sip of my tasty beverage in celebration. Mm -hmm. I've got all the red waters with me. I've got all my king's guard with me. I think we're ready to do this. Let's lead the soldiers in the assault. Come on. All right, everybody, hold back. Let's assess this situation. Wow. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and send the infantry up immediately. Go infantry, go, 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 go. What else can we do? We're gonna send infantry up. We're gonna see if they can get a foothold and maybe we can put the archers up there. I'll have the archers following me uh, right after. I'm gonna hold the knights down in reserve. We're just gonna have to wait for this, for the infantry to get up there. Come on, infantry. Make it up, make it up. Kind of stuck. It is quite a climb. I see. I try to get to one of these landings. So uh, the, the king can have a better view of what he needs to do to lead his men. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Alright, very good. So they're getting up slowly. Set those archers back. Set those archers back for now. Make sure that infantry can get up proper. Go, go, men, go! Today is a time for celebration. All you have to do is climb to the top of these uh, very steep stairs and mountainside. And we're so close. Almost there to victory. Alright, once we get all this infantry up, then I can follow behind with the archers. We're almost there. 
I'm sure Sir Jury's way at the top. Or did he get caught back here? I don't think that's Sir Jury. Wait, is that? Oh, it is. Sir Jury! Uh, sir, y you you got caught back here? Alright. Let's bring the, the dragon's teeth up. Following, of course, we've got our King's Guard. I think Sir Jury wants to stay behind. He thinks this is a dangerous situation. He wants to stay close to the King. I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. Wow. <laughs> Roger Stalton has just uh, fallen, of course. He's a brave bastard. I should probably give him some more lands. Uh, Kingsguard, are you following, sirs, or you, you're trapped? If you're going to hold everything up, should I tell you to charge? Maybe that would be the best thing to do. I think the king's getting vertigo up here. Oof. Look at that view. I'm glad we've got plenty of men to do this, though. Otherwise, this would be nearly impossible, I think. We've got such overwhelming numbers. But, but look, look, at the, look at the casualties we're taking. Already. The king's making a big commitment by getting up here. I think we can, I think we can settle here, though. King's guard here. What is this? What is this? No way of getting in there. That would be nice. Uh, but no, of course. Archers. Archers. Still waiting on you, archers. I tell you what, you can set up here. There's actually plenty of room. The king is jet. King is verified. There's plenty of room for you. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage, guys. This is a, a good time to do it. Oh, caught bears on point today on my brand new golden chalice mug. Guys, of course, if you want your own golden chalice, if you very own, I also always leave a link down in the description box below, and I think at the very end of this video, there's a, a link where you can go ahead and check out the little mini infomercial, and you can grab a golden chalice mug or any local gear if you want. It's, you know, of course, completely up to you. But what I'm more concerned about is if we're ever going to even get up there. So we've killed we've killed 20 of them. There was what 250, if my memory serves me right. But the king's got a lot on his mind. He can't remember every single detail of how many men are in the garrison. And we're making progress. Who's that? Redwater. Always good to see Robin. All right, guys, we're going to keep plugging away. Uh, there's not much we can do, uh, but when, when something happens, we're going to cut right back. See you in a second. There's a possibility we could break through on the left. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it. Now, these archers right here are causing all kinds of problems. But if we can get through on the left with my king's guard... And the archers I have. Problem is, can we even get up there? Is the, is the way blocked? Come on. Come on. Get up there. The king is impatiently waiting. We're instantly going to go to the left, as much as we can. There's archers on the left. Which I don't see many, we're, we're, we're going to take them out. Try to fortify that side, get our archers set up on that, that side. So we can start combating this mess of archers you see over there. Go, sir. Oh, you're blocking everything. My goodness. Alright, alright, alright. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Oh, shoot. Alright, where, where are these archers firing from? Okay, we got two over there that are causing all kinds of trouble. We have no doubt we gotta cut these guys off. I miss, sir. You bastard. You caused more trouble to me than most men. Come on, I see you. Don't worry, I've got another shield. Okay, behind enemy lines. Basically, we're in all-out charge mode at this point. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna avoid that archer's nest back there. Oh, you! You are the problem, sir. Come on. Give me the best you got, sir. Okay, now we wait. Now we wait as I mean, oh, we lost so many men. The king is stranded up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. If they get word of me up here, it is going to be over. I'm trying to gather my king's guard. I, I think that may be Robin Redwater. And I got Graznon's old patent. They're not king's guard, but of course, they think they're in the king's guard. So they're, they're definitely going to follow me. Um, all the lords, of course, are going to follow. <sighs> We're making... I wouldn't say great progress. We're making decent progress. There is a way... But it may lead to the death of the king, and I don't think we're going to do it. If it was just the archers, perhaps, but I could get ambushed by that whole group of um, Vel sergeants, and they're pretty tough. They got pretty good armor. So for now, we're just going to hang out back here. I got Robin Redwater right there. Yeah, I don't, I can't, can I even get back up here? Can the king take a good jump? Oh, Robin, you're in my way, sir. Maybe not there. How about here? Yeah, there we go. All right, so follow me, men. Follow me. I think we're just going to have to go around the other side. Just going to have to take them unawares from behind. This has proven to be difficult. I think the most difficult thing is that we're going to have archers right there in our way. I can send them in. Robin? Graznon? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't seem to see you're listening. Charge? <laughs> I know I'm asking a lot of you men. Pretty much have everyone charge at this point. Go, go, go. That doesn't help. Be brave, King. Be brave. King's Guard, follow. <laughs> I can't even get through. See how tough their damn armor is? Ooh, bastard. Wow. He hits like a ton of bricks. <laughs> I'm going to back up out of that. Before I get into some serious trouble. Plus this archer. It's giving me all kinds of trouble. Damn you archer. Damn you archer. You're going to keep me on the move, won't you? Well, a wise leader knows when it's time to retreat. Especially when all his Kingsguard are wounded. Allied casualties. Pretty high. Um, 81 compared to, to theirs. 126, but we've got them mostly done. Rainey's, uh, not many people had a good day. I mean, Darren always is going to get his kills, but uh, this is this is a tough siege, guys. We're going to have to do another assault on the ladders and try to get up there. Hopefully the three sisters don't take another one of our castles in the north by the time we're ready. So what we did last time did not work. I think what we're going to have to do... 
send our knights up first. I, I, I can't think of any other thing to do. Just send the knights up and the and the dragon's claws up. We're going to have the teeth follow. Uh, but there's just a one way up. And uh, the archers are, are basically useless. Uh, th there's one entry point and we can't even get our infantry through it. So we're just going to have to throw men at the walls. Like it's a meat grinder. That That's all we can do. But we will get up there. I swear it by the seven. I can't find a better spot for my archers than right here along this platform. At least they have a shot. Directly up at their flank. Hopefully weakening them a little bit to let our infantry and cavalry in. And this has been a hard fought siege indeed. We've lost a lot of good men. For so few men um, protecting this garrison. Oh, no. There's some men right here. We're, we're going to lose King Darren if you, if you don't let me through, man. Right, we're just going to let them keep firing away, guys. And hopefully they'll weaken it up enough to where we can get up there. Well, we're getting down to it the last 20 minutes. And I, I'm just backing my, my men down. Giving my archers a better shot at them. Well, you know, King Darren, he, he, he got a little taste on the previous assault. Just a little bit of a taste. Oh, so they got Dark Eagle. He's up on the top there, too. You know, maybe, maybe Darren could get a little bit more of a taste. If any of the men get out of the way, let him up there. But it doesn't seem likely. Oh, and I see either a Vel Knight or a Lord or two up there that I would like to tinker with for sure. Right, here they come. Oh. oh, you have definitely come down here for a fight, sir. Damn. <laughs> My men have just swarmed him. Swarmed that poor bastard. Didn't even give me... More than one swing. Is he a squire? Runestone squire? Oh, no, he's still there. Who was that? Oh! <laughs> Sir Damon's jet! <laughs> Perfect! I'm so glad I got to take him out. What a piece of shit he was. Alright, come on! All right, everybody charge. Go, go, go. Everyone, up, up, up. Let's get this over with. We got five men left. We need to celebrate. The queen is with child. The maesters say it is a prince that shall be born. And I want to celebrate. At the top of this mountain. Drinking a tasty beverage. On the, uh, on the top of the Erie. So, come on. Let's get it over with, guys. Well, hello, sir. How are you? Well, I now sentence you to death. Bye, Coldbringer. We have the Eerie. We have the Eerie! Alright. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. Darren with two. He, he wasn't able to get up there very often uh, in this particular assault, but as you are free, sir, you are definitely free. Ah, you are as well. Okay, that's going to help us out a little bit. And of course, we're going to get these cell swords, but we're, we're going to try to retire them. I, I swear to you, once we get back to King's Landing, but in the meantime, we'll bring you guys in. Very good. Okay. For appointment for now. Oh my goodness. Let's check out the situation. Yes! We have the Eerie. And we've done just what we wanted to do. We split them right in half. Seems like a lot of them are festering in the bloody gate. Let's see. Any any developments here? Nope. Nope. Moat Kalen still under siege. It's probably going to fall. I hope they lose so many men trying to take Moat Kalen, though. I hate the Three Sisters. I hate the Three Sisters at this point. Well, guys. 
this was a fantastic episode. Look at all these ladies in here. Oh, this is what I've been looking for. That's right. I'm going to enjoy this new throne. Hmm, very nice indeed. You guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. I had a great time. We've checked off the second to last uh, castle to siege on our list. We've got one more to go. The Bloody Gates. And King Darren has seized every castle that he has dreamed of since he was a little boy with his own little brother, Baylor. Guys, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on all the content on this channel. Again, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on A Clash of Kings, a throne for dragons.